Are we ready? Making it up as I go. Welcome to another edition of Fit and Fire, your home for guns and gear and the fitness to run both. I'm Mark and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. So if you watched my last episode, it was the Tac Pack unboxing. I've got a link to it right here. By all means, go check it out. It's a pretty cool little service that they provide. But you'll know that uh, our family missed out on our two week long Europe vacation. Um, baby girl got sick. She came down with the flu literally the night before we were supposed to leave. We were going to try to fit that square peg through that round hole the next day when we were supposed to fly but it was a no-go. There was no way we were going to be able to do it. So we came up with plan B. Being the spontaneous type of people that we are, we we're like, hey, we're going to go rent a car. We're going to rent a big old freaking Suburban. Um, actually, it was a Ford Expedition. Ford Expedition. And we're going to stuff it full of our stuff that we're going to take to uh, Europe. And we're just going to go to Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and do some skiing. So it's not the same, but you know what? When life hands you lemons, you make a pretty good lemonade vodka, let me tell you. So, <laughs> but we're not talking about Steam Boat Springs, but I mean, just take a look at it. It's gorgeous out here. It is so beautiful out here. I love Colorado. I love to ski. I love being out in the wilderness. But this episode is specifically talking about med packs. And why are we talking about med packs? Well, if you have any type of loadout pack, whether it be some type of bug out gear, or if you have a pack that you throw in your truck or your car to stay with you at all times, any type of prepping gear, then it's always best to have some type of medical system with you. What I've got and what I've been using is this guy right here. It's just something simple I picked up from Amazon. To be frankly honest with you, I don't even remember the manufacturer or anything but it's one of the things that i put on my war belt just to have and it does it does okay i mean it's you it doesn't open as wide as i want it it's got a tourniquet it's got some gauze here uh it's got some splint stuff um some quick clot i mean it's just got a few a few things in it that would really help take care of an emergency should one arise however i got hooked up actually through Instagram. If you guys aren't on Instagram, I highly encourage you to jump on board. There's plenty of gun uh, people on Instagram. It's a huge community. And the great thing about it is a lot of them are trying to get their names out, especially some of the smaller companies. And they do a number of different giveaways. I threw my hat into one of the giveaways and one of those in giveaways ended up being with Orca Tactical. I got hooked up with their molly Rippleway emt pouch right here um and it, it's actually pretty awesome uh i think a rip away pouch is something that should be considered by most people especially if you're going to run a gun belt or uh, have some type of first aid kit attached to your body armor or even if you just want to attach something to the back seat of one of your vehicles this is a great great system that they got it's got molly on the back side here the back panel it's also got this strap right here that you can just hook around the back of a uh, headrest of your car or your truck if you want to throw it into your vehicle and make sure you have first aid stuff with you at all times it's it just i mean it's it's really really useful you can open up it's got a number of different pockets, pouches in here. You got this piece right here that folds down that has an additional little pouch for you to hang. A lot of people like to use this type of system as you're wearing it. So it just kind of folds down and your workspace is right here. So that's pretty cool. And then on the back side, it's got this rip away system right here. So if this is attached to something, say if it's attached to your body armor or your war belt, or even the back of the headrest, you can just grab this handle right here and it rips right away from the hook and loop system. So that's pretty cool and extremely useful as well. So what are we going to do? We are going to take this pouch and we're going to fill it with this box I got from Amazon. This is a med kit that I just purchased from Amazon. It's got a number of different items in it. It's got eye care stuff. It's got 
trauma pads, it's got uh, burn dressings, um, gauze, iodine pads. <laughs> it's just got a whole bunch of different stuff in it. We're going to take it and we're going to stuff it into this pouch and see how well it does. I'm going to show you some B-roll here as we're doing that. Some of the things that you might want to consider as you're packing your pouches is do you have everything that you need? Now this kit that I bought, turns out that I didn't have everything that I needed. <laughs> the ski buses drives by. I didn't have everything that I needed because I don't have the tourniquet that I would particularly want. Now the smaller kit had a tourniquet and I could probably just pull it out and throw it in with this one. But, you know, the idea of having multiple tourniquets is something you might want to consider. So that's one of the downsides of this kit that I bought. I'll go ahead and throw it into the description down below with a link to the Amazon page. And just, you guys can take a look at it and see if it's something that would fit for you. If not, no big deal. It's 20 bucks. It wasn't that big of a deal, so no problems there. But as you can see, this is not doing too bad as far as fit and everything. I think there's a num number of different areas that you can put things into. There's plenty of space. It's got areas that you can put your scissors and all the different gauze and band-aids and ointments and everything else in there. It's got little of nylon straps for you to throw the little eye drop vials into and hold those into place so those work out real well. And it just seems like it's gonna be a really nice kit. Now this is not the only thing that Orca Tactical provides. Orca Tactical actually has a number of different pouches and they range from anything as small as a first aid kit all the way up to like a 40 liter backpack I think is one of their largest ones. I've been trying to get my hands on one of those. I haven't got, my chan haven't got a chance to get my hands on that yet. But as soon as I do, I will make sure that I present that to you guys as well. So what do you think? Orca Tactical and their rip away EMT kit pouch, whatever you want to call it. Is this something that you guys are interested in? Is it too big possibly? Is something like the smaller pouch more up your alley? Let me know what you have to say about that. Tell me what you're thinking. Sound off in the comment section down below. Always interested in what everybody's thinking. Sure do wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year if I don't get a chance to chat with each and every single one of you individually. I sure hope that your 2017 has been great. I think mine has been a pretty decent one. I've had a rough patch here in the month of December and, and that's okay. Time goes on and things keep on rolling. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. I sure do appreciate all of that. Thanks for swinging by. And again, check out Orca Tactical. That's all I got this time. Here comes a high five. You ready? From Steamboat. If you made it this far in the video, then I'd really appreciate you guys would consider subscribing. You can do that right here. Or if you want to check out some other videos that I've got going, check them out right here. If you like the hoodies and shirts that I'm wearing, that's Revolutionary Patriot. I got a link to their website down in the description below with a discount code. And as always, keep on dropping those bells and shells. Thanks, y'all.